Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how to install Anaconda on your Windows machine. Anaconda is one of the popular platform for machine learning or for data scientists. It provides thousands of open source packages and libraries. Okay, so it's a very powerful platform. So now let me show you installation of this Anaconda. So you can open any of your favorite browser and just search for Anaconda. And here you can see the official website anaconda.com. Just click on this link. Okay, now it has redirected me to the official page and now here I'm going to click on this pricing tab to start my download. And here you can see different products are shown in pricing, free, starter, pro and so on. So others are paid one. So I'm going to select free and now here you can see it's showing the Anaconda distribution for different operating systems. So I will be downloading for Windows 64 bit operating system. So for that I will click on this download button. Okay, you can see here my download has been started. The file size is 621. MB so we have to wait okay so my download is done now I'm going to click on this exe file to start my installation so let me just click on this exe file let me minimize this browser and here I'm going to click on next button and now here I will be clicking on I agree button to accept the license and agreement and now here I have to select installation type so whether you want for single user or you want for all the users of your machine so if you are taking all users you required admin privileges that means you should be an admin login and now I will click on this login button and now here it is showing me the destination folder that is C colon program data anaconda 3 if you wish to change you can click on this browse button and it is occupying around 3.7 GB and now I am going to click on this next button and here it's showing me advanced installation option so just keep the default and click on this install button Okay, my installation has been started, so we will wait for it. Okay, so here you can see my installation is completed. It's showing setup was successful. So now I'm going to click on this next button. Okay, now here I'm going to click on next button. Okay, here I will be unchecking this two option tutorial and getting started with Anaconda and I'll click on finish button. Okay, so now after this, I will just start my Anaconda. So for that, I will search Anaconda. And here you can see it's showing the search result. I'm going to select Anaconda Navigator, Anaconda 3. And now you can see it's starting my Anaconda. Since we are starting first time, so it will take a while. And now you can see my Anaconda has been started. And here it's showing me different types of application or the environments available in Anaconda. Here you can see it's showing me Jupyter Lab, Notebook, R Studio, PyCharm, and so many uh, options are available. So you can use this library. So I am just going to click on this Jupyter launch and here it is asking me by which app you want to open so I just selected Chrome and you can see now here it has started localhost school and 8888 and tree so this is nothing but local host of anaconda and it's showing me the uh, different folders available so i'm going to just select desktop and here now it's showing me notebook list is empty as i do i have not created any notebook so first of all before creating notebook i'm going to create a folder so here i'm going to click on new folder and here is my untitled folder i'll just select it and rename so let's give name as CS corner and click on rename button so my folder has been created okay after creating folder now I will be creating my Python file so again what we'll do we will go to this option new and we will select Python 3 
okay so now you can see it has started my jupiter and it's showing me untitled now whatever you want to do you can just type over here so i'm simply typing a welcome message and here i'm going to press control enter so it has shown me my output so you can see it's showing me expected output okay now to create any new row you need to just click outside this row so here i'm clicking and it has added me one more row or cell and now you can type any expression whatever expression python expression you want to type you can type i'm just taking one input from user and i'm just displaying that Th uh, accepted value so you can see here it has shown me enter anything I just entered Sunita and it's showing me output as Sunita okay and now uh, you can type whatever command you want to type and now here I will just give name to this notebook so I am giving name as sample code and let me click on this rename button okay so my Jupyter notebook name is given here you can see on desktop in the folder cs corner it has created sample code dot ipy nb so that is a notebook file extension so now i'll go to my desktop in my folder you can see here it's showing me what ipy nb file that is nothing but your uh, uh, notebook file okay so guys this way you can install anaconda and you can run your sample program so i hope guys this video video has helped you in installing your anaconda and running your program on jupyter notebook so if yes then don't forget to hit on like button also if you have any type of query you can put in comment box i will surely reply to your queries and guys if you are new to my channel please subscribe to my channel and uh, guys i have one more uh, channel in hindi coding channel that is code with sunita so if you want you can just visit that and please subscribe that channel also thank you guys for watching my video till end i'll see you in my next video till that bye bye and take care